Well, we made it. <laughs> it uh, felt a bit touch and go up there at times, but that doesn't matter now, because here we all are. Graduation. Although this seems like such a seminal event, in reality it's just an ordinary day. Just because we got to wear some silly hats today doesn't really mean we're different people than who we were yesterday, or that we have to be any different tomorrow. That being said, I think it's safe to say we're all pretty different people than we were in, say, grade seven. <laughs> Life comes at us a step at a time, and how we choose to make those steps defines where we'll go, but we'll only notice a change once we've walked a marathon. With that somewhat cliched metaphor in mind, here are some walking tips. Firstly, enjoy the scenery. All around you, your life is beautiful. I'm sure you've all heard countless times, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Well, I'd like to offer my own little spin on this platitude. There is no journey. Every second and every moment of your life, you're at your destination. And with each step forward, you've arrived at a new destination. Savor each destination. Find something, anything good in each of them to cherish and to love. Don't be shoved around. Walk how you want to. It's your path, your future, and your life. Walk it how you want to because you don't get to walk it again. Walk with friends, walk in a crowd, walk by yourself, walk uphill, downhill, sideways, backwards, moonwalk, crab walk, speed walk. Walk it however you want to. Because you are free. Use that freedom. You are the supreme architect of your own life. Like how Robert Heinlein in Stranger in a Strange Land wrote, Thou art God. What a grand, if not a little bit melodramatic idea. Each of us a God in our own right. Of course, ultimate power carries ultimate responsibility. Just as you would not allow yourself to be pushed through life, don't allow yourself to be pulled through it either, at least without, not, at least without choosing to hitch that line yourself. <laughs> Lastly, don't forget to look up. To explain this tip, I'll give you a bit of a personal story. Not many of you know this, but when I was younger, I was prone to terrible anxiety. Every time I got overwhelmed, I would just totally shut down. It would feel as if this were the hardest, most challenging, and most insurmountable object I'd ever face, and that I'd never get over it. This would cause me to act out in ways that I'm not proud of now. It feels like the end of days were mere heartbeats away. It was doom, and it was Armageddon. Of course, how many times the world's supposed to have ended by now? I'm still waiting for that mine apocalypse. What I learned to help me get through these fits of panic was remembering that the totality of whatever problem I was facing had a definite end in sight. That's the thing about deadlines. You know the exact date that, one way or another, alea yakta est, the die is cast. So in your walk of life, if you find yourself someplace barren and hostile, someplace where there is desperation and the ground sucks at your feet, look up and look ahead. In the distance, you'll see a brighter meadow. And if there are none in sight, then there's always the horizon, where it can only lie a place better than where you are right now. All you have to do is take a step towards it. Because tomorrow might not feel like it's any better, but I can assure you, next year will be. To break down all of what I just said and remove it from the somewhat pretentious metaphor, basically, live happy, live free, and live with perspective. I know that last one didn't fit the wording, but I couldn't find a way to word it the same way. I hope you'll forgive me. <laughs> Still applies, though. I'd like to close this speech with a little memory of mine. I can remember back to the end of grade three. We had our own little graduation ceremony. And I recall standing in the back of the small gym, looking on at the ceremony, wondering what grade 12 real graduation was going to be like. And I tried, and I tried, but I couldn't even begin to fathom it. It kind of puts things into perspective, seeing how I can't remember a single other thing from that ceremony apart from trying and catastrophically failing to look forward to right now. <laughs> well, here it is. Soak it all up. I'll leave you with a Gaelic saying. It's a farewell to friends and kin going on a journey, or in this case, an infinite series of destinations. Good day to Slan. Thank you.